I'm Eve Levy from Portland. It's not my favorite part of the year. You won't hear music and celebration coming from my house during these three sad weeks. Tish above, the holiday of Tish above, is just around the corner. And as our sages have told us, that when the month of Av comes in, our joy is decreased. It all started long ago, but we still feel the ramifications till today. The Jewish people accepted a negative report of the spies on the 9th of Av. The Talmud says that when the Jewish people responded to the spies by crying without cause, God said, I will give you reason to cry on this day for generations to come. On the 9th of Av, throughout Jewish history, many tragedies befell the Jewish people, including the destruction of the first temple and the second holy temple. And we had expulsions from England and Spain. And I think World War II even was an outcome from this day. And there were so many atrocities that took place throughout history on this day. I once heard a rabbi say that if only every Jew would just shed one tear on Tisha B'Av, for sure the Mashiach would come. But even one tear to be shed on behalf of the Jewish people is a lot to ask. The biggest reason to cry is that we don't even know what we're missing. I'm sure you have seen the famous pictures of the Israeli soldiers at the Western Wall right after the old city was won back into our hands after the 1967 war. It was a very moving scene. The Israeli soldiers had finally burst into the old city of Jerusalem and they were able to fight their way up to the Western Wall. Soldiers, both young and old, fell upon the wall weeping with emotion. It had been close to two decades that Jews were unable to come to this holy place freely and now it was ours, it was back in our hands. And the voice screamed out over the radio waves, Hakotel Biadenu, the Western Wall, it's back in our hands. Now there's this story that standing back from the wall were two kibbutznik soldiers. They had no religious background whatsoever. And the significance of the Kotel, the place that they were at, was unknown to them. They looked around, they took it all in, but they stayed back. And suddenly, one of those two men outburst and just began to cry uncontrollably. And the second soldier, he turns to him, surprised. He says, why are you crying? With tears rolling down his cheeks, he answered his friend, I am crying because I don't know what there is to cry about. We also don't know what we're missing. Imagine living in a world where you had so much clarity, that you had such a strong relationship with your Creator. You had the Holy Temple down the street, and you could go there and connect with God, atone for your sins, rejoice and celebrate life as a Jew. Three times a year, the Shalash Regalim, it was so wonderful, it was so rich. It was the real deal. We don't know what we're missing. In the book of Exodus, it is written, they shall make for me a sanctuary and I will dwell inside them. It seems like a mistake, but it's not. The temple was such a powerful reality that it inspired God's, God's Shrina, his presence, to dwell inside each and every Jew. We know that the first temple was destroyed because of the three cardinal sins, murder, idolatry, and immorality. And the second temple was destroyed because of sinat chinam, senseless hatred. We need to rectify those sins. You know, every generation that does not merit in rebuilding the temple, it's viewed as if we caused the very destruction. This month of Av is named after our Father in heaven. Av is Father. We actually nicknamed this month Menachem of, our comforting father. It's a difficult month, but even th through the difficulty and the distance that we feel from him, we still feel the comfort of the Father in heaven. We're meant to mourn with kavana, with intention, during this part of the month, the first half of Av, and then after the mourning period is over, we have a holiday, Tu Ba'av, it's Tet Vav Ba'av, the middle of the month. It's one of the most joyous days of the year. 
after really experiencing sadness and being in it, mourning, we experience an even greater level of happiness. After the mourning period of Tisha B'Av and the three weeks before that, we were given seven weeks of consolation, which brings us right up to the high holidays. My rabbi, Rav Yitzchak Berkowitz, he taught me that you gain a certain closeness through mourning. This period of emotional toil and yearning for more closeness and connection, it gives us the energy that we need to go into a good, productive Elul and Rosh Hashanah. We need that energy. Be in the moment. Shed a tear for all of Jewish suffering, past and present. Now is the time to yearn for more. We want closeness and connection and better times. My hope and prayer is that we see a day soon where sadness will be turned into joy. Thank you for joining me for A Dash of Eve.